Hi Cancer and welcome to my channel Alchemized Hearts and Tarot. My name is Eve Alquimia. If you'd like to book a personal tarot card reading with me, you can. My website is alchemizedheartsandtarot.com or if you're in the USA, you can simply text me 909-491-3604. Now I call upon the Holy Spirit. I call upon my higher self to come into this reading for Cancer. While I shuffle, I also want to mention um, what tarot is for any of you that might be wondering or kind of have a sort of idea of what tarot is. I'm going to go ahead and explain that for you. So besides tarot, just um, a way of, do, of making predictions, it's also, oh, let me show you your cards. Um, it is also um, actually a divination tool. So this divination tool we use so that we can gain more clarity, intros um, be able to introspect on certain things that we're going through or certain ideas that we hold um, in order for us, for our growth, um, for our own understanding, self-awareness and all that. Now, I am going to quote Bashar on how predictions actually work. Before that, I do also want to... Uh, mention to please not make uh, life altering decisions solely based on tarot readings okay please do not do that um, so tarot um, does help to gain insight on certain situations on potential outcomes yes you heard that right potential outcomes now the way that predictions work is that the reader or the person channeling the prediction is reading the current energies that exist at the moment they're making the prediction. So if these energies persist in that same direction, then the prediction may come true. However, knowing the prediction, ironically, can actually change the prediction because you then know kind of like ahead of time. Therefore, you can use your free will to change the outcome by making different uh, different decisions to stir things in a different direction. Hope that makes sense. Now, <clears throat> I just wanted to get that out of the way. It's all, it's really all about understanding the power of choice here. Now, let's continue. Your overall energy here in this reading is strength. We're gonna look at what's going on here and what advice spirit has for you. I do see here that you're going through some turbulence. We have here the, the Six of Wands reversed with the obstacle of a heartbreak. Yes, so hmm, we'll see what's going on here. What has broken your heart or, you know, I just see you're going through a lot. That's a lot of turbulent, chaotic energy. But I do see you holding yourself um, very strong, okay? You're showing up, excuse me, you're showing up very strong. So to the outer world, this is how you portray yourself. Now, heavily on your mind, I do see that you feel there was a very bad investment made. It could be on your part. Um, this could be having to do with emotions. And I say this because we have the heartbreak here. So maybe you feel you made a bad choice in love. Um, but this could also have to do with any type of stability of yours, meaning a career, a home, um even a high level romantic commitment right so we'll see what's going on what you don't see here is i do see a delay in travel and a delay in um communication a message that's being delayed okay yeah this has to do with love this is the ace of cups for me there's a delay there and you don't see it in a love message or an emotional message tell me more oh we have here an energy yes yeah, someone here who has been holding back their emotions their true feelings yes <laughs> their true feelings could be very non-committal energy I don't know, but it is this page, this page of cups. And here we go. Oh, this is very love, like very much. So this, okay. There's a delay in a message from this page of cups. Definitely 
has feelings for you who which they have been hiding you don't see this Whew. there is like a heartbreak type of energy though with them like they spilled this cup of love like it's not making it to you and again this is literally the same card twice so oh my goodness this is so heartbreaking what is this I know I saw, who did I see? The Emperor? Ah, uh, it, it, it flipped. I couldn't find it. Oh, well. But I did get other ones. So I know they're important. Ooh, okay. We have two feminine energies and two masculine energies. Trying to, oh, now it's three masculine energies. What in the world is going on here that you don't see? There's a lot of people here involved. You don't see this. We have here a mother figure. We have here a single, this is usually a single lady card, but it doesn't have to be a lady, it, no gender specific. And then we have these two um, masculine energies. And I feel like they're all trying to fix, repair some sort of love situation here's the sneaky deceitful strategic card there's a lot of people here who are no good no i get the sense this is family because it's like too much they're all like lumped together and then they kind of are working together for towards like a common goal but the common goal seems to be something very shady. Um, so whoever this person is could have, for example, very um, protective and possessive family members like their mom, maybe a sister, a brother, a dad. I don't know. Like, I, I'm just getting that heavily. Tell me more. Ooh, they're manifesting like heartbreak. Okay, so I think I know what's going on. I feel that this person really does have real loving emotions for you, like a crush on you, everything. But I feel that this whole family unit doesn't want to let them go. This could be like, since this is a masculine energy, I'm going to say it like this, but it doesn't have to apply due to gender. But like a mama's boy. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm... So that's what I'm feeling... How interesting. Now let's move on. That's what you don't see. Let's look at the heartbreak in the center of your reading. Again, I, it's someone you're thinking about. Someone you feel you made a bad choice, a bad investment. It's the person you're heavily thinking of. You're confused about them. Like what the heck is going on? And this is causing you so much heartache. Your near future shows the Eight of Swords feeling trapped in your own self-imposed prison. But let's see who this is. It's someone here who feels completely rejected. Who is this? Oh. I think this is your person. Page of Coins reversed. Someone who, um, I don't know. It's like they dropped the ball. They, they ooh. Now they have another masculine energy and a divorce card. This is Emperor is also a divorced uh, masculine energy. Okay, yeah, here's someone who failed to give you something stable, something solid, like they didn't keep their word. And there's something about high-level commitment ending. What is that? The page of swords reversed. <clears throat> I don't know. They're not telling you. They're not telling me either. <laughs> what is this? There's a message. There's a... Look, there's travel and a message coming to you. And I feel it's from this page. I feel they're letting you know that... See, I feel like this family thing. Like, I don't know what's going on. For many of you, it could be like, hey, my parents are divorcing. Something like, that. look, divorce card. Um, hmm. This person, again, whoever this is, feels very trapped. 
very confused not knowing what to do but it's also very like um ignorance is bliss type of energy like i'd rather not see i'd rather just pretend that like i'm blind and i'm deaf like i yeah no i don't want to get involved like it's too much it's too stressful okay <clears throat> this is a friend of yours this is someone who is reminis will be reminiscing about you i do see them wanting to come together with you Queen of Cups reversed. What is going on? I think that by the time they do come towards you, you will be emotionally unavailable. You know, very cold. Well, but I feel that this is a divorced feminine energy. Losing all their money and stuff. The Hermit in the reverse. Strength. And that someone here is going to be very miserable, very sad. <clears throat> They're holding back their emotions. It's your person. I don't know why your person holds back so much. Clearly, they think a lot about you. What's keeping this person? <sighs> their deep emotions? What are they scared of emotions? Strategic. <clears throat> This person is so shady. Like, it's almost like they're, they're scared of their emotions. They do miss you. What else? They want to repair themselves. Okay, that's good. This person is scared of commitment. And I feel it has to do with some of them. They, they're they going through their parents' divorce or their parents' divorce. I don't know, something about that. And this really, like, messed them up. Like, they, this was really hard for them. Yeah, they don't see, like, the future in commitment. Like, they don't see it. Like, they can't even envision that. It's like too burdensome. They'd rather become someone very stoic, um, very fair, but like puts their boundaries, like just kind of uses their logic rather than ever listening to their heart. They've become very greedy. And the magician is here. So they're manifesting something, though. What is it that they're manifesting? What is it that they're manifesting? Weird. This one wants to come out. Oh, I see. They're like... <clears throat> they're, they have everything that they need to manifest whatever they want. They truly do. It's... They're their own problem. They keep themselves um, stressed out. They keep themselves in negative thinking. Um, that delays forward movement. But the truth is that they, they're they very much in love with you. King of Cups, you could be dealing with a water sign. Um, this could specifically be Scorpio, but um, sometimes it could be any of the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Tell me about, I see your energy though, coming off as very, very, um, what is it called? Okay, <laughs> very happy, the sun. <clears throat> I do see that you have a lot going on in your life. I think that's why you're happy. You're keeping yourself, again, you show up with the strength card. You're keeping yourself busy. You're kind of like, yeah, this, this hurts like hell. I can see it because this is your obstacle. This hurts like hell, but you know what? I have other things that I also have to work on in my life. Many of you, it could be literally your son, your daughter, <laughs> you know? Um, and I see, look at you. I feel like you could even be like traveling the world. The sun and, and um, 
the world. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, you're just trying to balance yourself. You're here kind of breaking old cycles. I see you in a brand new cycle. I like that. And it's that's positive. You could be going through a whole glow up. As I say that, the death card in the reverse comes up. Um, it looks to me like you have unfinished business. What's that about? Mm, with someone who's not speaking to you. it's I feel it's your person. Again, unfinished business with someone who is at a crossroads and puts themselves in their own self-imposed prison. But either way, you're you're fine. You're like, I, you know, I have other stuff to do too. So <laughs> your person's energy coming off as the emperor. Um, this is um, Aries energy. I like that. The emperor is a really good energy. Okay, this emperor hasn't been able to let you go. And it's causing them a lot of um, disruption in their sleep. They're very stressed out, but they're trying not to. Yeah, I feel that they have you on their mind like constantly. They see you as very stable, abundant, someone who's very nurturing. They want to get out of the cold. So they're going to emperor it up. They're going to level up for you. Three of coins reversed. Right. And then. Oh, but you know what? Y'all are not going to be on the same page. And actually, yeah, no, you're not going to be work on the same page. They're going to be wanting to come expect um, that this person visit you. This is um, fast travel but also communication clear communication whatever they communicate with you i don't feel that you agree to these terms in fact i feel that you give them the middle finger <laughs> just no you put your boundaries up you might tell them off yeah and give them the cold shoulder and i feel like you you send them back running back to where they came from they're like you're like bye go back to where you came from um, I don't know what they're going to say to you that pisses you off. It is not at all, like, aligned with what you want. Yeah, and this person, this person is then forced to free themselves. And that's how they emperor it up. <laughs> that's how they level up. <clears throat> yeah, because they've been stuck on this love. So they're gonna they're gonna change. They're gonna have to change. Once you tell them off and you put your boundaries and tell them what time it is, that's when. And I feel for many of you, this has already happened because this is the energy they're in. So I feel that maybe because you've already told them off, they're leveling up. Now, seven of cups came up in your uh, most possible outcome. A lot of smoke and mirrors. A lot of uncertainty, but also many, many options to choose from. And these could be people, but, but see, this is the cup you want. Everything else is all crazy. Um, and I feel like this really has you overwhelmed. So let's see. I feel that many of you are going to go out dating. Yeah, you're here trying to heal yourself. You're like, screw this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're kind of like, I'm not going to wait around for this King of Cups to, you know, I still got to live my life. You, I feel that you're open. Yeah, you're open to dating and you're even open to this person that you actually like and likes you, like, to offer you something good. And then, sorry, we have the Five of Swords. As long as they do what's best for themselves and stop being a pushover. And you want them to no longer care who likes it or who doesn't, that you two are together. Mm. Like I said, a lot of you guys, it's a lot of y'all, it's family influencing. 
and it could be this single person and this other this single feminine energy and then this masculine energy um they seem to be younger this one so i feel like it's siblings but also i see that they see you single abundant beautiful and just doing your own thing living your life looking gorgeous looking sexy and attractive and they're gonna come towards you slowly as well offering you look you got nine <laughs> nine coins here they're here to give you the tenth coin that's the that's the max that's the max here in tarot let's see expect fa fast forward movement and for secrets to be revealed let's see what um advice you have here from spirit before i close this reading advice okay. hey i love this stand your ground know your worth be in listen to your intuition you see this little black cat very important your intuition is going to be your compass okay do that Ooh, breadcrumb you need to breadcrumb this person <laughs> so what i mean by that no don't really breadcrumb but don't put all your eggs in one basket you see how this one's giving them a little more and this one a little less that's your advice be your fiery passionate sexy self stay in your glow up energy don't stop stay fiery passionate and do not put all your eggs in one basket you are literally being told be frugal be stingy even with your love you need to know who's worthy so maybe in the past you used to just you know kind of wear your heart on your sleeve well not anymore see strength again with strength you need to be double strong <laughs> this time so this is what i have for you cancer i hope that you enjoyed this reading if you did please hit the like and consider subscribing <laughs> thank you and i hope to see you next time